Not such a random question, for because the Center for American Women in Politics had identified that women state legislators legislated differently than men. And, you know, and there was a quantitative number of them that they could make that statistical finding. So I thought, well, that's interesting. What would it be like if a woman ran the country? You know, and we, of course, are getting closer, but we still don't have any way to find that out yet in the United States. But at the time, there were fi I was thinking this, there were 15 women living who were president or prime minister of their country. And I thought, well, maybe I could meet one of them. And uh, having no idea why I thought I could meet a president or prime minister. But I often tell young women, you know, if I had never asked for the interview, right, the answer is always no, if you don't right. ask. So, in fact, after 18 months, I had met all 15 of the heads of state. Wow. And the interesting thing was I kept hearing similar stories, you know, many of it about being over scrutinized, about tolerance for mistakes, about the style of dress, things we still hear today. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I finally asked them if they want to meet. We met in Stockholm. They created a council. Uh, they asked me to run it. And the council has been in existence ever since. And now it's um, if any woman is freely elected head of state or head of government, president or prime minister, she is invited by our chair to join the council. So there are 82 members of the council now. Wow. Yeah. And we try to raise the visibility of women leaders. We try to use their collective voice. You know, um, we try to have an opportunity for them to share their own experiences with others who are similarly situated in any organization where you, for example, have employee resource groups. Yeah. So whether it's women's groups or other groups, they, they're, they do all sorts of good work, ERGs. But one yeah. of the things that they do is they allow people who are similarly situated yeah. in the organization to discuss their issues yeah. with each other. And the ability to do that, because particularly for women, if you don't have other women to say, is that happening to you? you begin to think there's something wrong with you. Right. Rather than those are social constructs, those are our dynamics, those are implicit, you know, concerns or archetypes that people yeah. have about you. 